in this video we are going to see how to create the secondary cost element gl account and also we'll try to cross compare with the uh, normal primary cost gl account so for that uh, we'll go to fs00 and just click on create so uh, the best practice is always uh, the best practice uh, it's not recommended by anyone but uh, we basically follow this process so always use uh, nine to uh, nine series uh, gl icon for the secondary cost after that then give the two digits which is a cost element uh, category code uh, which i will go in details uh, later on so nine series talks about secondary cost element after that two digits or uh, talks about which type of cost element that is and give your code here then uh, press enter select here it is a secondary cost uh, account select that one then select the group so it is a secondary group which i already created i will select this one and 42 basically here uh, we have first is secondary cost uh, that is what we have defined and 42 i used assessment so why assessment i am giving that is also will come to know assessment then if we go to control assignment here uh, you just need to select sort key here and from the cost element category you see here uh, for 42 is for assessment and if it is internal settlement you have to give uh, instead of 42 here you have to give 21 so whatever the gls which we create so the next two digits means uh, after nine whatever the digits are there so it if we keep the same as this one so we'll come to know easily that it is uh, what purpose the gl is about so give that 42 assessment so i have given that is the reason i have given 942 so if it is you are using as an internal settlement you can give it as 921 so these are all uh, secondary cost element categories which we have okay so i will select 42 here for assessment and for secondary cost element we have a this one secc so give this secondary cost element uh, category and save this one okay now we have seen uh, these are the options which we are getting for the secondary cost element right 21 31 uh, from 21 to 66 now we'll go and see uh, one of the expense gl so if we go and see the expense related things so you will see here uh, 1, 3, 4, 11, 12, 22. So these are all primary cost element categories. Okay, these are the primary cost element categories. And here we have, these are all uh, secondary cost element categories. Okay, so this is the difference between both of them. And uh, uh, we can use uh, secondary cost elements uh, for settlement purpose or uh, most of the controlling related activities and uh, primary cost element we basically use for uh, posting uh, primary expenses or a primary revenue like sales and purchases and all thank you